Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Lure, Lure series. Okay, with this one, um, I actually bought this yesterday from the shop. They've been around for a little while, but I still get asked questions about this lure, so I thought I'd buy it and just we'll have a little discussion on it and what we'll use it for. So a lot of people still don't get what the hooks the hook setup's for. Okay, so this one is a Daiwa, it's a slippery dog. Okay, so basically a little stick bait, but it's got assist hooks on it. And it's been designed that way to go chase a specific species. Um, and anyone can do it, it's good fun. You can do it in the shallows, you don't, don't need expensive heavy gear. Um, kids would love this, it'd be great fun for walking around the flats. So basically, they're, they're called a slippery dog, okay, from Daiwa. And these are little crackers. They're very similar to a sugar pen, or basically they're a sugar pen, just they come with other assist hooks. So what they are, a little surface lure. It's just a little skip, a uh, little, um, I can't even think of it. Stick bait, stick bait, okay? It's just a little tiny stick bait. But don't want to come up and put started putting assist hooks on them, because you can buy these, like I said, the um, version of sugar pens, they've got trebles on them. And they're good all round lures for a variety of fish. Oh, they really are, they work well on a lot of fish. But they come out with the slippery dogs with these little tiny assist hooks on the back. And what these are for, basically it's whiting fishing. So little these little things, if you get them in clear, for some reason whiting don't respond well to the bright coloured ones or colours, but they respond very well to clear ones. So if you've got one like that, it's nice and clear, it's got a couple of little stripes on it. Okay, and a little tiny assist hooks. You just need a little one to three kilo outfit. Walk around the shallow flats, or if you're on a boat or a kayak and go over the flats. You only want to be in a foot of water or so, it doesn't need to be deep or up to about a metre, metre and shallower. Cast these along the surface and wind really fast. No, a lot of guys will say you walk the dog, twitch them, um, everything else, get them twitching and everything. But I actually found, honestly, I found it's easier just to wind them fast. Winding are quite aggressive little buggers. So you cast these out in the flat. You wind, just wind fast. Don't twitch or stop or pause or anything, just wind it. Okay, and get this thing skipping on the surface. Looks like a, like a little free, uh, fleeing bait fish or a little fleeing you know, um, jelly prawn or something like that. And whiting will chase them. They're aggressive little buggers. You'll see like 15, 20 of them coming along and they'll be in the back and you'll actually hear them slurping. So you're whiting a bottom feeders. They're always got the mouth down the bottom. They're going through the sand. Okay, so they'll come through and you'll hear them actually slurping and you'll feel like little twitches. You'll They'll hit it and hit it and hit it. They'll miss, 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 miss. But the whole idea with the assist hooks is, and with bigger, the bigger whiting, as they're coming up and they're sucking, these little light hooks, they can generally suck in. And the bigger ones do, and they don't miss. Okay? With the trebles, they find the trebles a lot harder to suck in. You'll get the occasional fish on trebles, but you'll get a lot more whiting, okay, with their mouth set up, with the assist hooks. As they're up on a... They're chasing it and they're sucking. They're trying to suck it in, so they'll actually suck their little assist hooks in a lot easier so if you want to go whiting fishing walk around the banks chasing whiting look at these little slippery dogs make sure they're in clear this is only a small one you can get a big size this is 65 i think there's like 75s and 85s or something i'd look around about 75 just just for a little bit more weight to cast i only bought this one because this is the last of that color i just wanted to show you the clear color okay so if you want to go walk on the flats with your kids or get the kids to go out and have a bit of fun, just in shallow water, walk the flats, casting little clear stick baits and just wind them fast, that's it. And the whiting will come along and little ones will hit, 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 pick, pick, pick. You'll miss, but if there's a big one in the area, they'll suck these little trebles, in, these little assist hooks in, and they don't miss. And they're good fun in the shallow waters, those big ones, they dart around, they're like a little bit mini mile and they're fun. The main and the other thing is you probably are wondering why the treble's on the front. We leave the treble on the front because most other species have trouble hooking up like flathead and brim and stuff. You'll get the occasional one on your assist hooks, but most of the time they'll miss. Okay? So we leave the treble on the front. So if there's any flathead in the area and have a crack at the lure or brim or little trevally or something on the flat, you're nine times out of ten get them out of the treble hook. So with the two different setups, you get two from chasing two different species. Okay? So flathead brim um, mainly, okay, on the you'll hook on the treble, and most of the time you'll get the whiting on the assist. And once again, guys, very quick and very easy, just cast and wind. Don't worry about TV, don't worry about all the gurus telling you to stop and twitch and walk the dog. BS to that. 
just wind it fast. Wind it really fast. Don't think you're winding too fast. You're not. Winding will catch it and they'll have a crack at it. And if you're in an area where there are a lot of winding, you'll see 20 of them behind it. They all fight over it and fight. The little ones will hit and miss, hit and miss, hit and miss. If there's a big one there, the big one will come through. They don't miss, they don't miss the assist hooks and you'll have a lot of fun. It's a good, easy way to go fishing and a lot of fun around Gold Coast. Oh, anywhere, South East Queensland, Northern New South Wales. Okay, it's just good or easy fun fishing. So guys, have all the slippery dogs if you want a bit of fun. Not the cheapest lure, but once again, you're chasing small fish, you're chasing them on the flats, you shouldn't lose them. So don't worry about the price, you shouldn't go out and lose them. Have a crack at these ones, guys, they're a bit of fun. And, oh, well, that's it for that one. Um, I'll see you again in a few days. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I think I'm looking at a different type of nomad for flathead. We'll have a chat about that one next, I think. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video.